I'm in it with Alan. This edition is golf. Now, I don't play golf. I've played it three times in my life and I hate it. I find it boring. I find it hard work and I find it a waste of four hours. However, I understand why some people like golf and I always watch the majors. And as I record this, the final round of the US Open is on. And the reason I watch the majors is because golf is different. When you watch golf at a professional level and not an amateur level, but this even applies at an amateur level, it's an interesting game because there are no competitors. You know, I mean, in tennis, there's somebody hitting the ball back over the net at you, volleyball, you name it. But uh, individual sports usually have a direct competitor. In golf, you do not. You're really playing against yourself. And that's because tennis, I, uh, excuse me, golf, I think, is a mind game. It's slow. There's a lot of thinking time. You probably walk about three and a half miles during an 18-hole golf match, something like that, depending upon the course. And you can think a lot. You think when you're over the ball, there's a lot of pressure on you. At an amateur level, you don't have the crowds. The pressure's on yourself, your playing partners. At a professional level, you have these big crowds around you usually, especially in a major, a lot of pressure. Even with a, you know, a four-foot putt, if you miss it, you look like a putz. There's no coach there. You know, your caddy advises you. But you don't have a coach like in oh, basketball or football or baseball, these big team sports, volleyball, where you have an active coaching staff there. Uh, and it's about uh, how you think. It's about how your mind manages the course. Jack Nicklaus may be the greatest golfer ever, in my opinion, better so than better than Woods. You know, he said once, it's about how you manage a course, not just how you play the course. Uh, and so it is a head game, but I like watching the head game. I like people who rally and people who collapse. I like to watch them and learn. I mean, hell, the people who collapse and finish in 12th place are still getting a million bucks from these purses. The purse today is 120 million. Figure that out. But I think that this applies to us as well, this head game and how we have to think about it. Uh, you have to think about the round that you're in. You have to think about your environment. You have to think about whether you care or not about your next action, not your next stroke, but your next phone call, your next meeting, your next interaction, your next reply. It's really not physical in consulting or coaching or marketing in general, it's mental. And that is the most difficult and worst kind sometimes of hard work, ain't it? 